Hey, welcome to my Warframes Where They Are Now series, a little series I've had brewing in the back of my mind since the early days of Warframe, quote unquote. I'm going to put this little intro at the beginning of every video in this series. If you've heard this once or more, feel free to skip it. This is just my opinion and is not guaranteed to be fact. Remember with Warframe, everyone plays at least a little different from each other. That's why there's 52 frames as of making this intro, of course. That being said, I do plan on being as objective as I can with this series. But bias will always be a potential problem and will definitely shine through in certain episodes, if not all. Now, that being said, I hope you enjoy the series. July 3rd, 2023. Sorry about the noise in the background if you can hear that. It's raining outside. Not much I can do about that. <laughs> uh, this week we're talking about Necros. I've actually been quite looking forward to this one because uh, he's one of the frames I want to talk the most about. Mainly because everybody always sees him as a loot bitch, but... He's definitely more than that. Base stats on a level 30 Necros Prime are 125 armor, 188 energy, 300 health, 450 shield, and 1.1 sprint speed. Almost messed it up because I have an Archon Shard for armor on him. Necros is passive as he gains 5 health with every enemy death within 10 meters of him. Comes in handy, although it's not as efficient as it could be. Given that it's a passive, that's totally fair. And given my build, I don't really need it. And we'll go into that later. Alright, so for Necros' first ability, Soul Punch. He knocks the soul out of an enemy's body, and it turns it into a projectile. The nice thing is, is if you end up killing the, uh, the victim with it, they become one of your zombies. I ended up helminthing it off for uh, Gloom. Admittedly not an easy choice to make, but... Honestly, I love having Gloom on him. Also, I'm going to start talking about the uh, augments with the E ability, just to make it easier to follow along. Alright, so his augment for his first ability, Soul Survivor, uh, if you use it on a downed ally, you can revive them with 30% health. Weirdly situational, but I could definitely see a use for it. However, since the uh, Tenno exists, Vazarin kind of takes over for that. Alright, next up we got Terrify. Uh, he scares enemies so much that it rips their armor off and makes them run away. It's not hard to get 100% armor reduction on it, which is fucking awesome. But anyways, as for the augment, Creeping Terrify. It reduces the movement speed of the enemies by 60%. I don't know offhand if it actually is affected by mods because I'm not signed up with any of the syndicates that actually have his augments. I do have one of them. I actually have his uh, fourth ability augment. But I will say this is a nasty augment. This this comes in handy if you don't want to run Gloom. Because, you know, the one thing that sucks about Terrify is the enemies run away, which makes it a little bit trickier to hit him, but this fixes that for you. As for his third ability, Desecrate, you leave it active and it drains energy per enemy that you desecrate, and as for what the desecrate does, is it gives you extra loot. Uh, this is why most people use him for farming. Well, him or Korra, anyway. But, uh, yeah, no, it, it's definitely a good one to have, especially with the augment, Despoil. Despoil makes desecrate cost health instead of energy. I need to get my hands on this at some point. I know that a lot of people run it for various reasons, but I will say I run molts augmented and I have and with gloom, the spoil would effectively make it so desecrate costs absolutely nothing for me. So yeah, I definitely need to get my hands on it. And I recommend I highly recommend this mod in general. I was gonna say I recommend it to certain people, but frankly, anybody who's running Necros, I would say this is a good mod to have. As for his fourth ability, Shadows of the Dead. He uh as the name implies, raises the dead. Uh, you get seven zombies that work with you, and uh, it picks the seven best enemies that were near you when you use it, which actually is quite nice. Their health does decay, but that is the form of duration that it has. However, you can actually use mods to change exactly how long they last, and you can even increase, well, yeah, you can even increase the amount of health and how much damage they do, so that's kind of nice. Granted, it is still DE's AI, so they're not the best, but even just having them is better than, well, 
I don't want to say it's better than any particular ability, but it is definitely a good ability. As for the augment, shadow, or I'm stupid, shield of shadows, there we go. Each shadow within 50 meters takes 6% of the damage done to Necros in his stead. This makes him one tanky motherfucker. And I used to run this like crazy. Um, granted, after Archon Shards came out, I'm like, well, what the hell do I need this for? And just threw an armor shard, and I'm gonna call that a day. But either way, it is a really good augment, especially if you're just starting out and you just got Necros. It's definitely worth picking up, and frankly, before Archon Shards became a thing, I absolutely loved this augment. I still like it as a concept. I think it's really cool. Yes, I'm a little bit biased for it, but still, I, I think it's a really good augment. As for my build, I run mostly strength with a little bit of duration to make sure everything lasts a decent amount of time. I, uh, I, have, I run Molt Reconstruct as well as Energize and Equilibrium to proc Energize. I have thought about, well I shouldn't say I've thought about it, I've bounced between Molt Reconstruct and Arcane Blessing a lot ever since Blessing came out because Equilibrium does help proc that, making Necros tankier. However, Molt Reconstruct, you know, heals as soon as you cast ability, so kind of hard to pick which one I want to stick with. They're both good for different reasons, and I definitely want to have Energize there to keep my energy up because, well, Necros doesn't have infuriatingly low energy like Frost and Rhino. He does have relatively low energy. As for Archon Shards, what I got on him is I have an Armor Shard, which I eventually, eventually obviously, I'd like to replace all of them with Tau Forge, but that's every frame, of course. I have one duration shard, and then I have three casting speed shards, because the one thing that sucks, at least for me, is the fact that his fourth ability takes way too long to cast. But this does help with that a lot, of course. How does he fare with Daviri? Well, regular Daviri, of course. He's always good. I, again, I don't think there's a single frame that sucks with regular Daviri. As for Steel Path Daviri... I will say, it, it, sometimes he's good, sometimes he sucks. It, it really comes down to your weapons when it comes to him. It's similar to the whole Frost thing. If you have weapons that can, you know, actually kill things without any issues on Steel Path, because, you know, sometimes at Devere you don't get any good weapons. But that is the nature of randomization. But if you have weapons that are actually really good, uh, he's definitely a good one to have, at least in my opinion. Because as long as you have a good tanky build, you're fine. And ultimately speaking, having those seven uh, creatures help in most of the different mission types that are there. Necros is a frame that, as I said previously, almost everyone uses for farming, and that's for a good reason. He is one of the best at it, if not the best at it. It depends on who you ask as to who the best one is. I, at least for me, I think Necros is simply because with his you just set and forget it. Whereas with Korra you have to, you know, remember to keep it going. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, but I prefer to just, you know, forget about it um but aside from that he's actually like I said he's a pretty tanky frame if as long as you have a decent build on him and that and he's one of the more mechanically interesting frames in my opinion I tend to use him for defense missions sometimes or uh, you know if I'm just fucking around I like to use him for survivals but uh I did use him for Steel Path for a little while for certain mission types. Uh, I used him primarily for Interception until I found out about the Korra strategy, which I'll talk about in the Korra video whenever we get to that. I don't know when that'll be, I haven't looked when she released. <laughs> she released when I was on hiatus, that's all I know. But anyways, I think that's enough. Thank you all for watching, and have a good one.